everybody. Um, I thought I'd make a video about our day. Um, I know um, a lot of people just like to, I guess, know what people who stay at home do. <laughs> um, especially um, homeschoolers, how they, how they do things. Um, so I thought I'd just kind of give you a little example of what we do. Every day is kind of, it's not always the same. Um, and I'm okay with that, but I do like to have a basic um, plan and schedule of what each day should look like, um, even though it's not always the same. Um, we usually get up. Um, we don't. I don't get up super early, but um, like 7:30. Um, our kid, my kids, like to get up early. <laughs> So I guess it's kind of made me more of a morning person <laughs> than I used to be. Um, so um, we usually get up. I like, I say, I like to get my own little Bible study in in the morning. Um, I've gone between the night and morning and <laughs> for me, I like doing it in the morning, but with my kids, liking to get up early. If I get up, say I get up at 6.30, they will be up at 6.30 no matter what because I'm up. And so trying to get some quiet time in while they're awake is really hard. But um, I'm trying to do it again and because at nighttime I'm just like oh, so tired and sometimes I'd rather just go to bed and then it doesn't happen and that's bad. So. Um, I try to get that in the morning and just uh, try to focus. <laughs> um, and then um, we usually, I have the kids do their chores, um, that's what would be the first thing. Um, my kids really like, um, like uh, they like pictures. so. Um, if I have like pictures of what they need to do, make your bed, get dressed, I like the picture kind of chore chart, um, they really respond well to that. Um, Caden especially, he likes, he likes to check off, hey, I've done, made my bed and, um, you know, picked up in my room, got dressed, all those sorts of things. Um, I don't give them, I mean, they're still young, Caden's six, Charlie's four, Copeland's two, so I don't require a super lot just to take care of their themselves and their stuff. I'm off my, is I'm what off, they're learning. I'm off my way to the maze. Okay, have fun. Um so maze. Okay. I won't pay me. Okay, have fun. Um uh, so what was I saying? Uh Caden especially really likes that and um anyway they work really well with uh just, they, I'm teaching them to take care of themselves, their own stuff, and be responsible for that. Um, Kaden, I usually switch off him and Charlie feeding the dog in the mornings, feeding and watering him, and um, every now and then I'll give them um, a bigger chore, um, like uh, vacuuming or something. Um, and they, they do great with their chores. So then we kind of move on and I feed him breakfast and we just kind of get our, you know, that kind of stuff done and I get picked up. And then sometimes they'll have some a little time to play if I'm um, still working on laundry or, you know, getting other things done in the morning that need to get done. Um, and then we'll start school usually around 9, 9.30. Um, and like I said, some days it's 10, you know, it's, it's never exactly the same. Um, so we get started. I usually, I like to start out with, um, math. We usually do math first. Um, and we started math, you see, this year, kind of in the middle of the year. Um, and that's a whole nother <laughs> vlog, but um, the kids are really enjoying that. So we usually start out with math 
and I like to get the basics done in the morning, um, like right away. So we usually get math and, um, what am I thinking, phonics um, and handwriting. And then sometimes, depending how long it takes, we'll usually take a little break um, and they can go play outside, depending on the weather or um, play blocks or whatever they're wanting to do. Um, it's usually not super long. And then um, we'll kind of get back in and since they are younger, some, a lot of times um, we'll get done before lunch. Um, I have Caden do his personal reading. He'll read by himself. Um, a lot of times I'll, I'll sit with him, but Mommy, he reads out loud. Mommy, butterfly. How oh, pretty. And then um, Charlie, I'll work with her some more on um, her phonics and alphabet and just so um, that's really what we're focusing on with her and um, during this time my t Copeland back there she's uh, sometimes we'll have days she's clingy to mommy mommy hold me mommy hold me but uh, most of the time she does fine Charlie, I uh, caught a while we're doing fly. school okay take it over there please and um, she'll sit with a book or a puzzle. I try to have a few things in the room that we're in that can entertain her. Um, and it's worked out fine for us. It really hasn't been a problem. Just, you know, those few fussy days she has. Um, and then, or she likes to color. She likes to color a lot. Um, and then she kind of feels like she's part of the group, um, so she's not feeling left out. She feels like she's doing something. Um, and so we get all the afternoon stuff. We get some history and um, science or all those extras. We do um, a character trait study, which has a lot of activities, um, and some Bible. And we get all that done, usually in the morning. Um, Sometimes the extras, like the character trait study, we, um, it takes us into the afternoon. Um, but, it, like I said, it depends on the day. And then, um, in the afternoon, um, so we usually take a break, have lunch, and then Copeland, she goes down for her nap. Um, Yes, you. Uh, she's not so happy about that because sometimes I do let the older Mommy, two. Can you hold the blue? Here. No, thank you. No, thank you. Here. You want to kiss the camera? You want to kiss her? No, thank you. Okay. Uh, she wants to kiss you. Mwah. Okay. Thank you. She got um, ink all over you. She got butterfly guts, I guess. Okay. Is she dead? I hope not. Look, she's moving her legs. I don't think she can fly anymore, the poor thing. Okay, go take her somewhere over there. Mama, do she say Look at me. I better fly then. I see. Okay. And then they fly again. So then the afternoons, Copeland lays down, and she always feels a little left out because sometimes I do let the older kids watch television, and usually um, I have a strict rule about what they're going to watch. I let them watch magic school bus a lot or something else on the line of educational um and so she's she gets upset because she wants to watch tv um but um i am usually pretty strict about what they do in the afternoon oh lots of dirt mud pie mm. and and um i do monitor how much TV they watch um, or what they watch and then sometimes instead of that I'll let them um, play like an educational app on my phone or um, on the computer and then most then I let them play um, kind of on their own in the late afternoon so 
Um, our day is still pretty simple as they are so younger. Um, and then um, that's oh, and we have um, their memory verse um, that they work on. And usually Caden's above the other two. He'll get his done first and move on. And um, They had like a weekly one with the Bible that we did, but um, they weren't memorizing them. It was just, you know, you go over them. But for a week, it wasn't enough for them. So I just decided we'll just stick with one verse and then we'll move on when they truly know it and have memorized it. And for the younger two, it's taken a while probably it'll probably take a couple months honestly for copeland she's two and um but kaden as i said he moves on faster with that and that is about our day um it's nothing too complicated um it's what works for us and um i try to live by um just um, when the Bible talks about not being idle, we try to make sure that we're busy throughout the day. Um, I know for some reason a lot of people think staying at home means you're lazy or uh, you just watch TV all day or I don't know what people really think. But um, I try to stay busy. And with three, it's easy most of the time. But um, And to teach my kids um, how to have a good work life work ethic and to um, um, just always be doing something so um, <clears throat> that is what our day school day looks like um, if you have any questions feel free to ask I'm sure I probably left something out <laughs> but um, that's it and I hope you come back and hope you guys have a great day